Okay. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to show you this. Okay. All right. Now we're going to look at uh, second derivatives for with partial derivatives. And second derivative, you know, yeah, you know, you just you just take the derivative of the first derivative. You get a second derivative. But in multivariable uh, functions, um, we have down here. Uh, what are called mixed partials. Okay, so basically, once we find uh, the partial of f and the partial of y, uh, we can take the partial of x, you know, against the partial of y, and vice versa. Okay, um, and really, these two, these two guys here, they should be equal. Okay, so. You, you know you screwed up if they're not equal, and if you're pretty confident, you know, with your stuff, I mean, you only have to do one of them, okay? Um, so basically what I'm going to do is, you know, we're going to take a look at this function, okay? And we're just, we're just going to find all the, the partials, the second partials, and the mixed partials, okay? So before I do anything, I'm just going to need to find the regular partials, okay? So um, I'm just going to go... I mean, it's my choice. I'm just going to pick to go with x first. So the first term, that's going to be 2x, but you know the constant comes along with it. Okay. However, cosine of y, I mean, that's just you know a complete constant, so that's zero. And then we got over here, we have the product rule going on, don't we? Okay. So f g plus g prime f, and that just means you know here's f, here's g. You know that that's just I always write it down when I do it actually so uh, with respect to well actually never mind you know this 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 entire this entire thing right here let's let's make actually let's make it let's make it an X just to make it a little more interesting okay so so we got that so um, Yes, as far as this this part goes, uh, you know there there is no derivative of here. It's zero. So sine x uh, would have it would have a it would have a similar sort of being. Hang on, am I screwing this up? Yeah, I yeah, am. Never mind. No product rule needed right there. Okay. This is just a constant. It's just six. Okay. All right. We're not confused, are we? Because I uh, almost screwed that up. Okay. So now is it now? Now I'm all second guessing myself. That's good. Okay. Everything's good. So now partial of y. Um, well, that's just x squared is just going to be a constant. Um, negative sine y is what we got going on there. And since since what since uh, x is constant here, um, it, it kind of acts like the coefficient. So that is sine sine x is pretty much you know a coefficient to y, in a sense. Okay. So now that we did that, I think we can kind of move on and let's find let's just find um, the part the uh, second derivative with respect to x. So. And that is it's going to be partial of the uh, you know other partial with respect to x. Okay, so with respect to x, we get what two y, and with respect to x, we get let's see, y is just a uh, constant, so it stays in front, and the derivative goes there. Okay, so now let's go D. So that's just, you know, partial of Y against partial of Y, which is up here. My amps kind of staying on the page. Okay, so we got that. So with with respect to y, this is just zero. Um, 
derivative of sine y is cosine y, so we get negative cosine y, and with respect to x, that's just uh, zero, isn't it? Okay. So now, uh, since I've ran out of paper, we still need to do the mixed partials. And I am looking for, let's do the first mixed partial. Okay, so remember that this right here, this just means I'm going to take the partial of x, but I'm going to do it against the uh, original partial of y. So this is going to be equal to partial of x and what was partial of y. That was x squared minus sine y plus sine x. Okay, so for x, that is just 2x. Sine y is completely constant. And this one is going to be cosine x. So I'm just going to write that up there. Um, do a little pen swap. And now let's do, let's do the mixed partial. Now, if, if I did everything right, I should get this exact same answer. So I need partial of y against the original uh, partial x, which is 2xy plus y cosine x. So 2xy plus y cosine x. So with respect to y, I get 2x. And with respect to y, cosine is just basically a, a coefficient. So, um, yeah, everything works out. So, yeah, notice how they, they were equal. Okay. So, um, so, yeah, so there's basically, you know, off this, off this one function uh, right here, we, we ended up with six derivatives. I mean, that, you know, so it, it's... Uh, you know, and the, and the regular ones are pretty good, but these can definitely be a little tedious. Uh, I mean, they, they fill up the page, and you got to just keep track of everything. And like always, you know, practice is the key. You know, the more you do it, the better, better, better you're, you'll, bleh, the better, okay, you will understand it, okay? So, um, where are we going to go next? I think we should probably, let's, let's do some... Well, I don't have any time, but in the next video, we'll probably do some more stuff. And it'll involve probably maybe three variables. And then we'll move on to some other stuff. Okay? So, thanks for watching.